Welcome to the Practice Impossible Podcast. Where your host, Jude Pierre, MD, also known as Coach JPMD, discusses medical practice topics that will guide you through the maze that is the business of medicine and teach you how to increase profits and help populations live long. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to listen and be transformed. Now, here's your host, Coach JPMD. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, uh, thanks to Arif. He changed our intro a little bit. Uh, so, uh, today's a different episode. Happy birthday to me. What a gift it is to have a 10th episode of uh, my Practice Impossible podcast actually fall on my birthday. Uh, so I want to thank Arif, my production editor, who uh, was in charge of that and uh, has been in helping with the production of our podcasts. And I want to thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast because uh, that's how people get to uh, find us. So in this episode, I'm going to take a pause, a pause from teaching about the business of medicine and, and selling ideas and uh, use this time to reflect on the podcast landscape and what it means to have 10 episodes of a podcast. I wanted to also take this time to share some of the fears that I had in even beginning this process. We've had some great results uh, over the past uh, two, three months, and uh, we've interviewed some really great people, great leaders in our community. And I have a vision, a vision for the future of where the business of medicine, or at least the teaching of the business of medicine should go for our residents, for physicians who may be struggling with their practices and looking for other opportunities. So let me share some general statistics that I have about podcasts. And a lot of this information will be in our show notes. So you can um, also find some of the statistics I'm going to talk about at uh, podcastindustryinsights.com. And you know some of the statistics that I'm going to be talking about are related to Apple Podcasts, because after doing this for a couple of months, I realized that uh, Apple Podcasts are the number one source for, or the number one app for, for our users and our audience to download podcasts. And as of August, 2021, there were 2,314,146 podcasts that were active according to uh, podcastindustryinsights.com. So an interesting statistic was that uh, when you look at the detailed activity of, for all podcasts in the past 90 days, only 22.3% of all registered podcast feeds had some activity. Of all the available podcasts, only 36% of podcasts have 10 plus episodes. And so that puts us, the Practice Impossible podcast, in, in a different category once we get to the 10th episode. So it's big news for us. And it's because I think many people don't have the resources, the will, or have not overcome a lot of the fears that I overcame to continue the podcast past the 10th episode. Now, of course, I haven't had the 11th episode, so who knows what's going to happen, but I can assure you that, yes, it will happen because we do have a couple of episodes in the pipeline. But what's important to me is to help my audience and uh, doctors out there understand that some of the fears that you have about doing the things that you are not sure that you can do can be squashed when you have the right resources in place and and uh, right people behind you. I think one of the things that helped me tremendously was uh, going through a boot camp with uh, Pat Flynn and his uh, Smart Passive Income uh, team that allowed me to understand the the business of, or the, I shouldn't say the business, but the ins and outs of creating a podcast, creating the content, creating the platform, that alignment with his team has really aided me, like I said, squashing the fears of uh, being able to do this. One of my biggest fears was actually not wanting to do this because my patients would hear about this and maybe they might think differently about me or what are my colleagues going to think of? You know, why is this guy doing podcasting when he should be seeing patients? And, you know, all of those things came to mind as I was creating this, this vision, this idea but, you know, I think there's a bigger idea. There's a bigger vision behind this. And that is to, to help the larger population at, uh, at hand where we need help in teaching physicians how to decrease their stress and how to um, improve their life. And so even with the 10 episodes or the nine episodes that I've created, I was able to be ranked in the top 
50 medical podcasts on the feed spot, which was a great honor because uh, I did not even expect that, truthfully. And uh, some of the uh, podcasts that I've recorded uh, with my guests have been amazing. I've learned lots of things from them, even just by, by interviewing them. I was able to read a book about gratitude, uh, about a lawyer who wrote thank you notes to his clients and his friends and how that transformed his life. And uh, I was able to also understand how there are recurring theme- themes in physician stress that is related to some of the things I've went through. And that's one of them was shame. And uh, we're soon to, to have someone who is going to talk about shame in, in one of our future episodes. So all that, all those things that are, were created through this podcast. And so what is my vision for the future? Well, my vision is for the next uh, couple of weeks to months, I'm going to create a series on payment tree because I've had some feedback, got some feedback from some listeners uh, that they wanted to hear more topics on financial management. And so uh, financial management of the practice, as well as financial, financial management, personal financial management will be some of the topics that we're going to be covering. Uh, the series that I want to, I'm really eager to, to start is the payment tree series, uh, which is going to detail every single aspect of the monies that flow through uh, Medicare Advantage companies and how it affects reimbursement to the practice as well as reimbursement to you. I have an opportunity to work with the graduate medical education uh, residency training programs in one of our local hospitals, and that's coming up. And I, I'm so happy and honored to be able to be participating in, in a residency training program to help young physicians coming out to learn the business of medicine. I also want to take this opportunity to invite more doctors to discuss their personal stories on managed care and and what they've done in their life to help them improve their revenues, improve their lifestyle, and uh, to just be better physicians and better human beings. So I'm super grateful for having this platform to share the knowledge and to help my colleagues learn about the business of medicine. So what's in it for you? Well, This is not just a podcast on how to make money and how to, you know, run the business or the practices that you're in, but it's also how you need to live your personal life to be able to have the ability to practice impossible medicine. And if there's any topics that you want to hear more about, or you don't understand, or you have a guest that you want to hear on the podcast, leave a review or go to our website, uh, www.practiceimpossible.com and send me a note. Cheers to many more episodes to come.